All right, welcome back to the uh, Saxophone Factory. We are working on the uh, Rubank Elementary Method for Flute. Uh, we are now on Lesson 5. Look across the top of Lesson 5. You will see Circle 1 has the treble clef or the, or the G clef. Remember, the little curlicue at the bottom of the G clef is around the G line, and they move alphabetically through the musical alphabet, A through G, G through A, Space line, space line, space line, space line in order. Uh, and then under circle two, we have a quarter note, C, and a quarter, and under circle three, we have a quarter rest. A quarter note in four, four time gets one count, and a quarter rest gets one count of silence. That's why they're called the same thing. They're both quarter. One's a quarter note, one's a quarter rest. In circle four and circle five, we have a half note and a half rest. The half rest is drawn sitting on the B-line, sort of sitting up on the B-line, like a top hat, right? Uh, and it gets two counts of silence. And in circle four, the, the half note gets two counts of sound. Uh, and now we have uh, a tied note in circle eight. We have a, a half note that gets two counts in four, four time, tied to a quarter note. It gets one count, so two plus one is three. Notice that you can only have ties if they are the same note. Both of those notes are C's. And in circle 10, we have a review of the notes that are on the line. E, G, B, D, and F. All right, let's go ahead and start with number one on lesson five. And I will be doing the repeat as should you. Here we go. One, two, three. Number two, and I will be repeating that as well. One, you, you notice that in number one, we had the quarter notes first. One, two, three, one, two, three. And in number two, we have the whole, the half, excuse me, half note first. One, three, four, one, three, four. Here we go. Number two. And I will be doing the repeat, as should you. One, two. enough, right? No worries. Now let's look at number three. Number three, they have sprinkled some quarter rest in there. So it's very, very important that we pay very close attention to when to play and just as importantly, when not to play. All right, here we go. Number three. One, two,
very good. Now, it's really important that you stay focused and that you don't look ahead, that you look at the note and then the rest and the note and the rest. As you're going along, don't try to sneak down the down the page to see what's coming because then you'll make a mistake. Number four, melody. One, two, ready? Now we're going to do number four. Number four, melody. Melody has a, a similar rhythm to number two. Half note and then the quarter note, right? The half note for two, quarter notes each get one. Number four. One, two. Number five, a melody in three four time. What does three four mean? The top number tells us what, and the bottom note tells us what. Very good. Th number five, um, the first part is repeated. Did you see that? The first line is repeated. Tried to trick you a little bit, didn't they? But they didn't do it because you're smart. Here we go. Number five. One, two. That is number five, melody in three, four time. We're going to finish up the page with Good Night Ladies, an old college song from the 1800s. <laughs> I wasn't around then. Close, but not quite. All right, it's also in three, four time. Here we go. With some ties across the, across the bar line. So let's watch carefully. Um, put your finger on the on, on the notes as I play the first time before you try it yourself, because we haven't done ties over the over the bar line yet, and we have some ties over the bar line. One, two, three, one, and go.
And there we are. Thank you ever so much. Uh, until we see you again, keep playing.